What's going on guys? I'm your host Francis Bo here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on anything going on in the world of entertainment. And yes, I finally saw the documentary that everybody has been talking about and that would be Won't You Be My Neighbor? And that is of course the documentary about the life and legacy of Fred Rogers who all of you guys know was the host and uh, the producer and writer of the popular ch children's TV show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And um, this documentary details the life that Mr. Rogers had throughout the TV show, um, what he uh, did to inspire a lot of children, and what it meant for television. And, well, I saw it today. And um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have don't know a lot about uh, uh, Mr. Rogers. I don't know a lot about him. And um, so I went to this documentary with a very open mind and... and um, I know that there's some controversy surrounding Fred Rogers nowadays about his sexuality and other things, and they actually addressed that in the documentary as well. Um, I gotta tell you guys, this documentary floored me. I was blown away by this documentary. Um, like, wow. <laughs> um, so, it's, it's pretty heavy. I gotta say, this is a pretty heavy documentary. And I really love all the details that they bring into this documentary. It does two sides. It tells you everything that Mr. Rogers did um, for the children and what he meant for a lot of uh, generations of people. And they also showed you the side of the criticism and the, and the stuff that Mr. Rogers faced on a personal level. And I love that about this documentary. Um, and, you know, your opinion about Mr. Rogers, that's on you. you everyone has an opinion about everything. If you have an opinion on Mr. Rogers, that's you. But my opinion on Mr. Rogers, just from watching the documentary, because again, I'm just taking all the um, information that I, I know about Mr. Rogers from this documentary, I gotta say, he seems like one of the nicest people I have ever heard of to walk this earth. He seemed like an incredible guy. Um, and I kind of wish I got. To, I, I, I kind of wish that he was still alive because I would have liked to have met him because he seems like a really, really nice guy with a really good heart and had a really good purpose in life. And um, and you get to learn a lot about the show. That's the thing that the, the, the documentary addresses a lot. Is they talk a lot about the TV show. Um, there's not a lot about this childhood, which I would say is the only complaint about this documentary is that I would would have liked to seen a little bit more of his childhood. There is a little bit that they talk about, but it is mainly talking about the TV show and the life he has had during the creation of the show and the aftermath of the show. So, um, so that's mainly what it's all about. But um, I really love the, the, the tone. The, the tone is perfect for this documentary. It's happy. And I think that that's what Mr. Rogers would have wanted if he wanted to have a documentary is that make it happy, make it a little bit joyful. But there are moments in, in the documentary also where it's a little bit, a little bit sad and a little bit, a very emotional documentary as well. Um, bring a couple of people to see this with you because it's a very, very emotional documentary. I teared up at certain scenes. Um, it is very, very emotional. Um, it's it's very well crafted. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I. I mean, I can't really do my positives and my negatives because there isn't really a whole lot of negatives to this document, docu documentary. Um, like I said, the only real negative about it is that I wish that a little more of his childhood was addressed, but overall, from top to bottom, this is a spectacular documentary and a spectacular film. Um, it's, wow, I, I, I'm very happy that I got a chance to see it in the theater. Um, and you should too. It's a really well-crafted documentary. If you do not know a lot about Fred Rogers, I think that this is the perfect documentary and a perfect piece of, uh, of uh, sports material to watch and learn about this guy because um, I was very happy that I watched it and I'm very happy to have learned all the things I learned about Fred Rogers. And I heard that we're getting a biopic about Fred Rogers being played by Tom Hanks. So Tom Hanks, you've got a lot to live up to, buddy, because I really... Um, just from learning a lot about this guy, you have a lot to bring now. Um, 
but this this documentary floored me. I absolutely love this documentary. It's one of my favorite films of the year so far. Um, it is a beautifully crafted documentary. It's emotional. It's funny. Um, it's dark. It's lighthearted. It has so many different things going on, and there's lots of different messages and themes to take out of this documentary. The theme that I took out from the documentary, if you're wondering, is um, is being yourself and um, um, learn th also the message of you shouldn't be uh, base somebody on their flaws it's the spark inside us all is what defines us it's not our it's not the flaws that we make it's the spark inside us the heart inside us that truly defines our character and truly defines who we are in this world I think that that's what the document what I really gathered from the documentary and that's really what really sums up Fred Rogers. I mean, he's a he is a man that went through a lot of issues. He had a lot of issues going on behind the scenes. And any time that he had any type of issues, like anger, sadness, he would use it in, as a kind of like a tool, um, kind of like a, 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 a way to cope himself through his own TV show with the puppets. Uh, particularly with Daniel, um, the, the tiger. Um, that um learning a lot about the tiger i don't do you want me to spoil a documentary I, I personally don't want to spoil the documentary if you don't know a lot about fred rogers uh but needless to say the tiger has a lot of significance towards fred rogers that's all i'll say um but overall man like i said won't you be my neighbor is a fantastic documentary it's a fantastic film and it really does a really good job um telling you the story of fred rogers his life the legacy that he's that he has and I also like the um, the way that they address television, like the 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 art of television and the use of television, um, the way that we address issues and the way that we address events that happen in the world. It's, the, it's a very interesting way that they, they address it in the documentary. So overall, from top to bottom, a beautiful documentary, a beautiful tribute to Fred Rogers. Um, really, really well done. The only thing that I wish I would have seen is a little bit more of his childhood, but as it is, it is fantastic it's beautiful it's emotional go watch it as soon as you can i don't know if it's going to be in theaters for long but go watch it as soon as you can i'm going really high for this movie i'm going to give it a 9.8 out of 10 a 98 percent an a plus go watch this movie it's a beautiful documentary and you definitely should see it as soon as possible so that's it that's my review for won't you be my neighbor um just really go see it. it is it's a really good documentary it's one of the best films of the year and yeah fred rogers you were a great man um so yeah that's my review for won't you be my neighbor hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys also check out my, my review for ant-man the wasp and um that's it hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know your thoughts about the documentary and let me know your thoughts about fred rogers himself let me know how you feel about him and the legacy and all the stuff that he's did let me know all your thoughts about that in the comment section below and that's it for my review for Won't You Be My Neighbor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, as been these videos, bow out. See you next time. Peace.